I'm good. Can you flash for me? Can you flash for me? Flash, flash, flash. Having a tough day? Open some happiness on Skin Club. Get yourself the best skins and flex with them in game. Link in the description gives 7% deposit bonus. Hello ladies and gentlemen, today is a special video. As you know, since I got benched, I asked you guys to ask me a lot of questions um, on Twitter and you did. Thank you for that. So yeah, I hope you're gonna enjoy what you see because you're gonna see me, literally me. Um, so yeah, let's get to it and enjoy the show. Well, that, that, that's not an answer I have right now, uh, if I'm being really honest. I don't have the control over everything, uh, but I like to think that while I have the control on, I'm doing them good, uh, which is content creator or streaming and that kind of things. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm just happy doing it right now. That was not about before. I mean, I was not necessarily thinking that I would get benched, uh, at least not like at this time. Uh, so of course I was focused on competition. So when it happened, I had to find something that I would like, but also that is related to what I did, to what I built as a player. And streaming was the perfect thing, you know? So at the beginning, streaming was like, um, not like an emergency exit, but more like something I'm not used to it, something I'm not comfortable with. But at the end of the day, I convinced myself that if I would keep doing it, I would start enjoying it, which actually happened. You know, like I really enjoy doing it now. Creating content, playing without pressure, playing for myself mostly, you know, like when you play competitive, you, you play for your team. You lose that part of individualism that gives you the confidence in yourself and stuff. So I also needed that. I also need that in order to go back to competition. That's what I think right now. Bah, écoute, uh, ce serait mentir de te dire que j'ai pas eu des périodes où oui, je l'ai été. Ça a été très répétitif pendant un moment. Et, euh, et c'est juste, c'est sûr que pendant certaines périodes, c'est difficile de garder une mentalité stable, euh, de garder une mentalité de, de, de winner, de mec archi motivé, quand au final, c'est vrai que tu tombes dans une certaine routine à la fois d'entraînement et même de compétition à, à un moment donné. Euh, donc suivant les années, suivant les mois, suivant les jours, euh, ça peut être différent. J'ai envie de dire qu'aujourd'hui, j'ai un, une motivation qui, a même, qui est même plus grande que ce qu'elle a été par exemple en 2017. Euh, fin 2017, ma motivation était... Elle était proche du néant. Mmh. Why would I buy a gun here if I have a magic stick? I think I will, uh, I'll pick two. First one is the EPL Dallas in 2017. Uh, that was really great. I mean, if you guys want to see, I posted a video on my YouTube channel about this tournament. Um, and the second one is definitely the ESL Pro League uh, in Montpellier, in Montpellier because of the French crowd, literally because of the French crowd. So yeah, there was like some kind of magic, you know, that led us through the, the world tournament to the final. So yeah, I will go with uh, Dallas and uh, Montpellier, which both are EPL tournaments. Well, considering Australis is a Danish established team, communication and etc. and everything, and as Zonic said, even though there was a lot of respect towards each other and, uh, and stuff, uh, no, most likely it's not something that is going to happen. So I'm going to talk about how it happened. Uh, how I know about it. So I was at Stax, a really good friend of mine, and I had my I have my manager that is also one of my best friends that calls me and tells me, yeah, tomorrow we need to have a meeting with you and Damien, the coach. But he doesn't tell me why and the reason and everything, you know. Usually he does, you know. Uh, so I knew straight away what was happening. Um, so that day when I knew, Uh, that evening, 
I was not feeling good, to be honest. I was even feeling pretty depressed uh, because that's not the good news. But you know, I got to talk with my friends, Stax, uh, and my other friends when I when I got home afterwards, and I just figured out that uh, uh, that was actually the best move for me and for them because I, I don't think as much work as I was putting uh, into the into myself into the team. I don't think I could have reached the level I wanted to reach uh, with that team because all the different ways people were wanting me to play, um, myself not really knowing and kind of lost myself in a way that I wanted to play as well. So I just think that there was too much happening, you know, like I stayed like for almost five years in G2 as uh, active player and I'm proud of it, you know, like G2 is a massive organization and I've been the main player of it for so long, you know, and uh, that's quite an achievement in itself. So I'm proud of it, but in the same time, I feel like it was needed for, for me in order to, to see something else. I mean, I was talking about what's your options when you don't feel comfortable in your team and your team knows about it and they try to help you, you try to help yourself. Uh, at the end of the day, the, the last thing to do is to change your environment, you know. And at the end of the day, once again, I feel like that changing my environment will make me significantly better and that's why I truly believe that I would improve any team I would join right now. So yeah, I mean, that was that was a tough news, but only for a few hours. Afterwards, I felt released from a lot of things um, and I don't feel bad about it anymore. So yeah, if I have to go for, with a top three, there will be Jax, Sixer, uh, and maybe Scream. Scream, yeah, I had a really good time with Scream. He was really like my, my best bro on, on Titan. I brought my first paycheck and they said, OK. Yeah. <laughs> no, but unfortunately, this is most of the time how it works, you know. When you start having your financial independence, it's easy. I had a tournament to play, which was close to where I lived, so that was easy to convince my parents for a weekend to bring me there and you know um, well I won it so that made it really easy for me you know uh, but at the beginning it was difficult especially that I was a no full student not like in terms of research and stuff but I was really bored in school you know like I was uh, the clown of the class I would say I mean I, I had the fun in school you know uh, I was playing a lot of video games and of course my parents were like all parents and they were like yo uh, get the fuck out of the PC uh, but I got the chance also, or the bad luck, to have a really special familial environment, really healthy, I would say. So we had bigger issues than me playing video games. And at the end of the day, uh, I think my parents realized, my parents realized that uh, video games has been an escape for me. So I think it's. It's about communication, you need to communicate with your parents, you need to, to tell them why do you spend so much time on it, you know. Um, there is nothing to be ashamed of about, you know, you tell your parents and of course they are a different generation, uh, but at the end of the day they are your parents, you know, and they are not judging you. Uh, so you should talk to them about it instead of fighting with them about it. It's much better, trust me. Um, so. Yeah, I guess communication and uh, bringing you once again your first paycheck <laughs> helps a lot. Oh, Marcel, Marcel, Marcel. That's a question that I like. I like this question, Marcel. That's funny because he's literally the opposite of me. But Cristiano Ronaldo is my favorite player right now. But I have always had something for players like Ronaldinho, Neymar, you know. But historically, my favorite player when I start really enjoying football it was Pauleta. Pauleta, Portuguese striker, played for Paris Saint-Germain, legendary player. The Portuguese, you probably know about him. I hope everybody knows about him, actually. Everybody knows about him. He was a big player, man. No, I never thought about being professional at first, you know, like I really took CS because I loved it and because I I mean, which I didn't play on the CS, I played so many video games, you have no idea that I played everything. I have a brother that is 11 years older than me, so trust me, 
I lived in two generations pretty much and uh, I feel like his generation was the best along mine so it's a really good mixture you know uh, but no as I said uh, uh, video games really became an escape from home you know like what was happening at home and stuff Euh, je préfère AV1 Zero parce que euh, mécaniquement, simple et au-dessus. Après, ça dépend. Je préfère. <rire> c'est une question difficile. Hein. Zero, il est, il est extrêmement intelligent. Il a un game sense incroyable. Et c'est ça son, son plus gros talent en fait. C'est vraiment son game sense, je pense. Et sur une map et map, par exemple, bon, le game sense, euh, ça fait pas une différence incroyable. <rire> Donc je dirais Zero. Mais bon, euh... dans tous les cas, si je veux AV1 des deux. Il faut que j'arrive sur le serveur avec le maximum de confiance et je gagnerai ou pas. Mais en tout cas, ce sera plus simple. <rire> Mais Zio, euh, j'aime beaucoup Zio et euh, c'est la film fierté française. Et au final, il a redoré euh, le drapeau, on va dire. Donc j'ai beaucoup de respect pour les deux joueurs et, euh, et je dis pas que l'un est meilleur que l'autre parce que c'est un débat stérile. Euh, mais pour le coup, pour ce contexte-là, je pense que je préférais jouer contre Zio. Ouais. Jeff, you are, uh, how to call it, how to call it, you like to suffer, Jeff. And it happens that I actually like to suffer with you, my friend. Um, so it's pretty much whenever you want. I cannot wait to have five guys with AK and Kevlar and men in front of me with a single USB. Really, I cannot wait. I don't really want to compare both games because I think both games are... Well, I think Valorant has been helping CS in some ways as well, you know? But in, at the end of the day, I, I like both games. Of course, CS much more because mechanically, tactically, competitively-wise, even like as a, as a show, I, I like CS more as a show, you know? Like, uh, CS is one of the best games when it comes to the show, you know? Like, everything is different, everyone is different. Uh, Valorant is going to be the same anyway, but the biggest issue I have with Valorant right now is the operator. The operator is really not made to be used cons consistently, you know, I feel like uh, they made it like you don't even need to have a dedicated open in your team on Valorant, you know, that's how I feel, you know, so uh, it's a bit disappointing to play with the operator on Valorant because it's slow, it doesn't fit right. It just feels like they fucked it up, you know, like they did something wrong when they made the weapon mechanically and stuff. They're like, uh, just like, yeah, we're gonna put an op and yeah, just whatever, you know. So uh, I feel like they just should take more time on the weapon. And the maps also, the maps are really different. Both games are way different. I feel like this variant map are way too simple. Uh, so my favorite Spanish person is Stax, there is no doubt about it. In, we've had a few months where we just spend every single day together. You know, you don't need to, uh, to spend 10 years with a person to be truly friend with, with them, you know. And that's the case with, uh, with Frank. We got connected really straight away, you know. Like, I was natural to him really straight away, he was natural to me with straight away and we connected, that's it, you know. And uh, he helped me with a lot of things and uh, and yeah, like uh, even if I don't know him for 10 years, I know that Stax is going to be a friend for life. I'm really emotional and, uh, and that's something that uh, I managed to improve at certain point, at certain moments. It all depends on the mindset and the issue I've had is that my mindset has been doing like this, you know, like really changing and that's difficult to deal with. But yeah, um, uh, the, the, I think looking back at it, I think that the, the biggest issue come when it comes to that is that I'm ashamed of that, of that issue. I'm ashamed of being so emotional, you know, I'm ashamed of looking weaker than other people and I'm like, Bro, I want to feel the way they feel, you know, like they look like they are not impacted by things, you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, once again, it's about accepting yourself, you know. I'm not like anyone else, I'm myself. And yeah, sometimes it's hard to accept, but it is what it is. And, uh, you know, like you can improve always, but you cannot significantly de become a different person, in my opinion.
so no, I don't think he was a fan of me. I mean, he's older than me, you know, he's been playing CS for actually longer than me, I guess. I mean, he knew me and probably respected me for my career and, and, and who I am, you know, but he was not a fan and we became brothers almost like straight away, you know, like, I mean, the first time I met him, he's really funny. Uh, I love, you know, like Jax is really like free, he does whatever he wants to do, you know, with all respect, always, and you know, but he's a really funny guy, you know, and uh, he's been doing funny stuff since day one with me, you know, like he, he never been different. I, he's the same guy that I met day one, literally. So yeah, that's how we became bros because when it comes to that, we are the same. And we are really stupid people sometimes as well together, so. Thank you guys for asking so many questions. That was really interesting. Uh, I was obviously expecting the questions about my future, about how I live through the G2 Bench. I was also really happy to answer a question about myself, about my own experiences. I'm, I'm really happy that you guys are interested in it. Uh, so let me know what you thought about the whole video, what I said, what you think about me opening up a bit more uh, down there in the comments. And if you want to see content, uh, if you want to have live interaction with me, uh, you can go there. This is my Twitch. I'm streaming often, even like most of the days, almost every day. Euh, merci à, aux Français aussi, euh, je vous oublie pas, je vous vois. Merci à tous, thank you guys, and uh, yeah, see you soon.